Hello again, Irish fans, and welcome to the UND.com Notre Dame football training camp report for Friday, August 19th, 2011. I'm Jack Nolan coming to you on another glorious day here at the Labar Practice Complex. This is the last official day of training camp on the August practice schedule. And with that in mind, we thought it appropriate that we would focus our final training camp report on the position on the Notre Dame football team that is always in the spotlight, the quarterbacks. Last year at this time, there was no quarterback competition during Notre Dame's training camp. Everyone knew Dane Christ would be the starter for the Irish in the season opener. It is a very different situation for the Notre Dame offense this year, with four players taking snaps who all have the tools to play major college football. It should come as no surprise that Brian Kelly has already made it clear that the battle for the starting slot to open the season has come down to the two guys who each guided the Irish to four wins last season, senior Dane Chris and sophomore Tommy Rees. Chris, number 10, started nine games last season and appeared to be on his way to becoming the third Irish quarterback to throw for 3,000 yards in a season when he suffered a season-ending knee injury early in game number nine against Tulsa. Despite missing nearly five full games, Chris still finished with 2,033 passing yards and 15 touchdowns. Chris says the competition among the quarterbacks in fall training camp is helping make him a better performer on the field. I mean, anytime you're, you're being pushed, I think that's going to only make you a better player. Um, you know, you've got to come to practice every day and compete. Um, and really, you know, you, you don't, you can't have days where you're showing complacency and, and being complacent. Um, so it's really done a good job of just pushing each other. But in doing so, you know, I think that you know we've all made each other better. Coach said the other day that yeah, there's still a quarterback battle, and some might say, well, that means Dane hasn't gotten better, and that's not the case. Dane is a much better quarterback. He's the best he's ever been. What have you done to show Coach that you are a better quarterback? Um, I, I'm doing my hard. I'm doing everything I. Can can to just show him that I can be consistent, um, you know, just improving the areas, you know, that last year um, I think that I, I struggled with and that we identified both as coaches and players. Um, really did it, uh, spent a lot of time over the summer trying to improve my footwork and, and consistency there and uh, just trying to go out and, and show that I can compete every day. The Tommy Reese story is straight out of Hollywood. The freshman stepped in for the injured Chris and almost led the Irish to a come-from-behind victory against Tulsa, throwing for 334 yards and four touchdowns. Reese, number 11, then proceeded to put together the most impressive starting debut of an Irish quarterback in history, leading Notre Dame to an upset victory over 15th-ranked Utah in Notre Dame Stadium, a win over Army at Yankee Stadium, Notre Dame's first win over USC in nine years at the Los Angeles Coliseum and a bowl win over Miami in the Sun Bowl. Reese says the momentum he picked up at the end of last season has carried over to training camp. I think from a confidence level that's something that carries over for me you know just being more confident out there knowing that I've you know got game time situations where I've played well but um, I also think to pro provide a little confidence to my teammates in, in me but um, you know I really try to put that behind me and that's in the past and I just want to keep moving forward you know and be the best quarterback I can be right now for this team. Usually in most training camps with a veteran starter back, there's one guy who's the starter and other guys who are working to back him up. But right now, you have two starters battling for that starting position. How has that impacted the progress you've been able to make in this camp? Uh, you know, I think the competitive nature that, you know, Dane and I have been, you know, going at for the past two weeks has made both of us better players. You know, we learn from each other, you know, we're out here to help each other, but that, you know, competitive push that we got going is really benefiting both of us in the long run. I think the biggest progress that we've made is we have two really competitive guys right now at the quarterback position. Uh, two guys that uh, have reduced their uh, their uh, errors, have improved their efficiency as passers, be have become more accurate, uh, and have improved their footwork, become better leaders. Uh, so I think those those things are areas that just you know jump out at us. We're, we're lucky. I mean, it, call it whatever you want. I got two really good quarterbacks that are ready to play championship football. Coach Kelly has often had high praise for the arm strength of sophomore Andrew Hendricks, number 12, who did not see game action last season. Number five, early enrollee freshman Everett Golson, was one of the most prolific high school passers in U.S. history. He has already shown on the field that he can hurt opposing defenses both with his arm and with his legs. So they both have flashes. You know, Everett had a couple flashes today, but also, you know, when he has a chance to you know, level two a ball back into the end zone. He, he throws a line drive and gets it picked off, you know. So it's, there's great things from both those kids. They're, they're just, you know, we can't put them in there yet because they're, they're not able to take great care of the football. But they, they, I think you guys know, I mean, you, you haven't seen them very much, obviously, so you have to rely on 
on me, but both those kids have got huge upside. They're just not ready to do it on a consistent basis. What is that? Since this is the last day of training camp, this is also the last DailyUND.com training camp report. However, we will continue with our frequent regular updates on the Irish football team, including our new Irish Connection program each Thursday and again on Sunday once the regular season begins. The players will now get their first break since practice began by taking tomorrow off before returning to the meeting room Sunday afternoon and the practice field on Sunday night. Jack Dolan, UND.com.